So Lucid Dreaming was for sure the longest project I ever had. In total I projected 11 days, so three days in November and another eight days in January when I came back this trip. The second longest took me uh, six days, yeah, so uh, yeah, Lucid Dreaming with 11 days is definitely uh, my longest project till now. I would compare it probably to when I topped out Action Direct. It's just so overwhelming, you, you're just so satisfied and yeah, you cannot basically stop laughing anymore. It's a really good feeling. I think the thing that's attracting to me about lucid dreaming is that it's just such a pure line. It has just three moves, basically three holes. There are no tricks at all, there are no heel hooks, no toe hooks, there are no drop knees, there's nothing. They're just three small holes and three moves. The starting hold is already the best hold. It's an in-cut crimp where you start with both hands. And then you place your left foot on a glassy foothold, grab the first crimp with the left hand. Then you place your right foot on the same height as your left hand, so really high. Basically your two feet are oppositing each other. The shark tooth undercling, with that one it's very, um, very dangerous because you have to be careful to get it right, otherwise you'll just cut your fingers open. And you bump up your left foot to the starting hold, you drop your right foot and do kind of a dynamic move to the pinch, which I normally get with three fingers and then readjust to four fingers. And then I jump to the last crimp, which is quite good. It's quite in-cut, but you have to get it very perfect. I had uh, my, uh, my pinky finger um, very far to the right, so basically I jumped to the hold like this to grab it perfectly. And that's how I could stick the move. That's, that's the fucking thing. After you stick the jump move to the crimp, I would say the topper slab is around V7. So not super hard, but you still have to be focused and be careful because it gets quite high. And then you have a very far uh, foot move to the right, where you're almost standing in a, in a split on the slab. And that's the, the most scary move in that problem. The very top of the slab was quite wet. Felix threw me a chalk bag up 30 feet. And with the brush and with the chalk, I tried the footholds, and that's how I got to the very top of the boulder. 